to be honest with you, I had two different feelings. Um, one feeling was, wow, Steph Curry just <laughs> whooped that trick. That was one of that was one feeling like, man, this is pretty big for Steph Curry to even you know. If you, uh, but the other side was, no, nah, you can't say that against my team, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So you no, know, it, was, it was a little offensive at that same time. So I was just mainly just, uh, you know, uh, you know, two different feelings, man. Right? Uh, you know, excited on one end because it was Steph Curry, but on the other end, you can't use it against my team, though. You know, we 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 going against each other right now, so I can't let you just you can't use those words right now. Last night they wanted me to do it, so I'm running around the the court like I normally do, getting the crowd pumped, and I just so happened to look up and notice. As I was going, there he is right there. Uh-huh. I gotta make you eat those words right now for Memphis. You know what I'm saying? That was my mindset at that. Cause if you look at the video, I was about to run past him and I looked up and like, and I came back like, no, I can't let you get away with that, bro. I'm right here in your face. And now fans with me, so it was all good. Yeah, Draymond seemed like he was having a good time with it, as he normally does. Now, fans want to know, did Steph A say anything to you in that moment, or did he do anything? Like, what was the interaction with, like between you two? I'm going to be honest with you. I was trying, I was looking dead at him. I was looking straight at him, but he really wasn't making a lot of eye contact. Eye contact. He was kind of, you know, kind of looking out, but he was smiling, though, because so I could tell he was, you know, kind of enjoying the moment. But how do you feel, like, 17 years later, you you still created or you still have what's a banger? Like, that song will forever go down in history. It's it's, a, it's amazing to have a song that's on the level of We Will Rock You, you know, um, that that's definitely going down as one of those songs, as a We Will Rock You type of rock anthem in stadiums, but this is hip-hop. And it's, it's Southern hip hop and it's Memphis Southern hip hop. So uh, it's amazing to, to know I burnt something, you know, that iconic. And uh, I'm, I'm here for every moment of it. As you can see, I'm rocking my Whoop That Trick t-shirt. <laughs> WhoopThatTrick.com, holla at your boy. I'm not sure if they are, um, but uh, I, I, I will supply each and every one of them. You know, if, 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 if need be, it's not a problem. I can get it to them ASAP. If the Grizzlies beat the Warriors and go on to win the NBA championship this year, what are the odds that NBA fans can see you and Terrence Howard perform Whoop That Trick at any point in time? Well, listen, I talked to Craig Brewer, who is the uh, writer and producer of uh, Hustle and & Flow. And mm-hmm. we, we have had that conversation and uh, we're definitely trying to make that happen where me and Terrence, uh, uh, you know, we come out together and we do it together. So you get the actor, you get the uh, originator united and really, you know what I'm saying, take it to that other, other F, I can't, I'm trying to get my words all right, <laughs> to the next level, you know what I'm saying, and really represent the whole whoop that trick phenomenon because it's a phenomenon right now.